Hello everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Laura from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library. In today's Tinkershop tutorial, we are going to learn how to design a 3D printed keychain using Tinkercad. All right, let's get started. We are going to start by clicking the blue Create New Design button to open a new project. The blue grid here is the work plane, which we, we will be building our project on. To change the view of your work plane, use the cube in the top left hand corner. On the right hand side of the screen, you will see our shape and text tools. This is where we are going to select our base shape for our keychain. To add a shape onto the work plane, simply left click on the object and left click again on the work plane. You can change any of the dimensions of your object by clicking on the white squares. If you hover over if you hover your mouse over any of the white squares, it will also tell you the dimensions. Now rotate the work plane to a side view and alter the height of your base. Use the black arrow on the top of the shape to raise and lower the shape. It is important to remember that anything you want to 3D print must lie above the surface. Then you can rotate the work plane back to the top view. Next, select the text icon from the right hand side of the screen. Drag and drop the text onto the top of your selected keychain base. Using the window that appears on the right hand side of the screen, delete the word text and add in your name. You can also change the font if you choose. Adjust the size so that the name fits with a small ledge around the outside. You can adjust your view to make sure your name is attached to your shape and not hovering above it. Next, we need to create a hole for the keychain. Choose a shape and drop it onto your keychain. Adjust the size and remove the fill to create a hole in the 3D print to hang it on a keychain. You can also zoom in if it's easier to view your project. If you ever feel like you've made a mistake and you want to go back a few steps, you can use the undo arrow in the top left hand side. Next, we will highlight all of our shapes by clicking and dragging a box around our keychain, then selecting the group button on the top right hand side. To make sure you don't lose your work, name your project by clicking on the top left and typing in your name. And there you have your personalized keychain. I'm Laura from the Innisfil ID Lab and Library and thanks again for joining us. Take care.